They were going on the tsunami. A fun fact about tsunami is that it came from the Japanese being far away. And one of the symptoms of a tsunami is when you are at a beach, birds will fly away very quickly. So are you prepared for them? No. no. Well, you should be because they're very dangerous. Michelle? What is so dangerous about them? It's just a wave. Well, yes, it is a wave, but a big one. They could travel as in all different directions and could go as fast as 450 miles per hour in an open sea. Do you know how it's caused? Tsunamis can travel at speeds up to 720 kilometers an hour. That's more than half the speed of sound. Tsunamis out here may only be a meter high. Someone on a ship might not even feel one of the waves as it passes beneath them. But when tsunamis approach the shore, the rising sea floor forces the wave to rise. It builds, then breaks into a huge surge of water. Tsunamis can sometimes reach as high as 30 meters above sea level. The height of the wave depends almost entirely on the offshore landscape. Waves tend to rise to greater heights along gently sloping shores. Um, no, that is fast. There are little waves that merge into a huge wave. When it does that, it could be up to or over 50 feet tall. It is caused by underwater earthquakes. They often occur at, sub at subject zone. Tsunamis can be so powerful that it can destroy a whole village and can last for hours. A deadly feature of tsunamis is their vastness, and this is an indication of how much energy they possess. When these waves crash, this energy is transferred to what it needs on shore. But it takes a long time for them to lose their energy completely. As tsunamis wash ashore, they lose energy, but sometimes not before traveling several kilometers inland, leaving destruction in their wake. Michelle? What happens during a tsunami? You should follow the evacuation order issued by authorities and stay away from the beach. Michelle? What happens after? Return home only if the local officials tell you to. Avoid disaster areas and stay away from the debris and the wire. It might pose a threat to you. Wow, but that sounds like a lot of work. Well, yes, it keeps you safe, but the earth shakes so much that you can't stand anymore. You should also have an emergency kit, preferably a waterproof bag. Michelle? Well, that is strong, but what should be in the bag? You should have canned food. You should have canned food with a can opener. If you have pets, bring some food for it. Also have a battery operated radio, some water bottles, and if you have medication, make sure to bring it. You can also customize your bag. Wow, that's a lot of things to bring. Most of them happen within the Pacific Ocean of Ring of Fire. Melody, what's the ring of fire? I'm glad you asked. It's an active area where the tunnels are shifted many times and makes volcanoes and earthquakes happen a lot. Oh, wow. The best defense is the early tsunami warning that allows people to go to higher ground before a tsunami. It alerts the public and the emergency management officials to take actions. Well, it's been warned. warned. Haha, <laughs> okay class, now that we learn about tsunamis, let's review what we learned because we'll be having a test on tsunamis next week. Michelle? Tsunamis are caused by underwater earthquakes near subduction zones. Melody? And when they happen, get to high ground. Michelle? And don't forget your emergency kit. Good job class, so are you now prepared for them? Yes. yes. Well, although you learn about tsunamis, they rarely happen in California, but all of us might come across one, so you should be aware of them. Well, that's our lesson about tsunamis. Your test will be soon, so remember what you learned. Okay. And the class, you can go now. Hello class, it's time for your test. I hope you all study. It's important that you learn about this because it's a real thing that injures many people and can kill many lives. So don't. this will help you when you grow up and can save yours and your friend's lives. So when you come across the tsunami, you know what to do. All right. All right.
few more minutes. Okay, here you go. Good job, class. Now that you know about tsunamis, and now you are prepared for them. Class is dismissed. You may go. Down.